Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to export photos from your iPhone to your Windows PC. There are several methods you can use, and in this video, I'll cover three of them. You can find the timestamps here and skip to the right one for you. First, we'll check out iCloud. If you use iCloud to back up your iPhone's photos, then you can just browse them straight on the website. To make sure you have this setting turned on, head to your iPhone settings, then click on iCloud, scroll down to find photos, and make sure this tab here is turned on. Then let's head to iCloud.com on our Windows PC. On the iCloud website, scroll down until you find the square with all the apps and click on photos. Here you can see your photos, select the ones you want, and download them straight into your PC. This method only works if you've already been using iCloud, which is a paid service, and my photos from my iPhone take up all my storage in my iCloud storage server. So for the next method, we're going to just use the Windows Explorer built-in features. Let's head over into the laptop. On your PC, open Windows Explorer, connect your iPhone and let it show up on the left side menu under this PC. Then click on your iPhone. Your iPhone might give you a notification asking if you want to let this computer view your photos. Press allow. Then head to your iPhone's files. You'll see a folder called PCIM. All your photos will be here and you can copy them straight over to your PC as if you were using a USB drive. I like this method, but there are several problems. iPhones like to take photos in the HEIC file format, and Windows doesn't like that. HEIC file formats are great for Apple devices such as my Mac, my iPad, or my iPhone. But when it comes to Windows, you need something else like JPEG or PNG. So while I use this method, I'll also have to download an HEIC converter, which is an extra step I don't want to do. If you do want to go with this step, I highly recommend using Walter HEIC Converter made by Softarino. That's the one I've been using and it works every time. It's also free. Our third solution is using Alttunes. Alttunes is this amazing app made by Softarino that can do so much. Whether it's backing up your photos, backing up your entire iPhone, moving music around, seeing your texts on your Windows PC, or anything else, Alttunes has your back. So let's dive straight in. To get started with Alttunes, head over to Softarino's website and download Alttunes. The link can be found down below under this video. At this website, you'll see all of Alttunes features as well as download it. The Alttunes beta is only available for universal license users, a license that gives you access to tons of amazing apps to use with your iPhone, iPad, iPod, Mac, and Windows PC. After you download Alttunes, install it. For the first time you use Alttunes with your iPhone, you'll need to press Trust This Computer on your iPhone. Then you have access to all of your iPhone's needs on your Windows PC. The left menu shows you some of Alttunes capabilities such as photos, music, messages, and more. For now, let's go to the Photos app and you'll see all of your photos sorted by the date you took them. From here, you can select the photos you want to export. You can export a single photo, multiple photos, or all of them. To demonstrate, I'm going to select a handful of my photos and send them over to my Windows PC. By holding Shift and clicking the photos, I select multiple. Then I simply press Export to Folder. Just like that, my photos have been exported to my Windows PC. Now you know how to export photos from your iPhone into your Windows PC. It's made super simple using Alttunes. I like to use Alttunes for all my Apple needs. Whether it's to move my photos, move my music, or back up my iPhone to my Windows PC, Alttunes has my back. Alttunes is available at softarino.com. Check it out today. Use the link below to head directly there. If you found this video useful, then make sure you leave us a like, comment down below what you want to see next, and subscribe so you can see all the newest iPhone tips. Thanks for watching.